Hey guys, Remote Animation here, and still on the topic of Recon 4D, we have clearly made some progress. As it's been 4 months since we started this project, and I think it's fair to say that the first beta version is almost ready, but it's just missing a few things like the animation system. And yes, when I say the animation system is what's remaining, it's fair to assume that the rigging system is complete. And at this point, we almost have a complete base version that we can update from, and it was about time we added in a camera on some grid lines and yes we could jump in and out of the camera so it was fully functional and back to the rigging system yes i decided to add in weight paints from the first version because that is the only form of rigging that makes sense at least to me and for those that don't even know how weight painting works technically the green parts are gonna be easier for the bone to move and at the end of the last video, I actually introduced a new render engine, which is actually what you've been seeing throughout this video, which I decided to name Gradient. And though Illusion was far better, this was actually faster. And just to put it out there, the rigging system wasn't actually limited to rigging, it could actually be used for modeling as well. As with traditional modeling, getting shapes like this would have been really difficult. And since we don't have modifiers yet, this would have to do. And at some point I decided to link in Unity's physics system with my app but it wasn't really gonna stick around for the first update. So as well as post processing I am gonna bench this for a while. And as most of us may already know this project actually started up as a learning process. More like a test subject that I used for learning Unity. And we can clearly see over time we actually shifted away from that. And what we shifted to is actually taking a lot of time. And you can clearly see where I'm going with this. So I'm going to need to take a break from all this maybe around a month and a half and maybe work on a smaller project within that time frame and then maybe after that we can just complete the animation system and release the first beta version which might be shifted to november and yeah once again thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video